All right, so real briefly, I wanted to do a test with the AC200 to show how much heat a desktop heater like this size can put off and power through a small space like this SUV and keep it warm in cold temperatures. Now, this desktop heater, it is rated at 1,000 watts on the high setting and 600 watts on the low setting. I have my AC200 charged up to about 85% right now. Let me unbox this for you. The ceramic heater is not very big at all. It doesn't take up a lot of space. It just looks like that and has a plug like this. The Blue Yeti device. All right, so this is rated at 1700 kilowatts of power. So got it flipped on here. It says it's at 86%. Okay, so I'm gonna just plug this in here, flip the AC from the off position to the on position, and turn. I'm gonna move this towards the center of my SUV and see what kind of reading I get. Okay, it is currently on. And I feel the fan kicking on. This is rising up to 839. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit because that's too much power. Okay, this now is at fluctuating to 672, 635. Okay, it's dropping down a little bit. Okay, now it's at about 600. Okay, 600, 588. 588 it seems like it's fluctuating between 588 and 575 now okay so it dropped off some now okay so that heater is going it is blowing some warm air you can feel this whole car warming up here and it's not going to take a lot to warm this SUV up because it's such a small enclosure here a small space here but something like this is going to be useful if you have a power outage and say in the event that you need some kind of power to warm up to stay warm because you're in a cold climate whether it's in a place where it's snowing whether it's in a place where there's just cold temperatures. lately in texas here we've been getting temperatures at night into the 30 degrees 40 degrees and if for whatever reason you're on the road traveling and you need to stay in a place for a while and you just happen to have an AC200 in the back of the SUV, you can use that kind of device to just stay warm. And it's nice to be able to go camping somewhere and just flip that switch on and be reassured that the AC200 can handle that kind of power. All right, so in the about two minutes that I've had this on the car is completely warm right now that little thing is doing an excellent job of just heating up the interior of this SUV I'll go ahead and post the picture of the heater that I'm using that I found on Amazon and I feel like I have to turn this heater off now because it's just warm in here but before I turn it off let me go and show you what it's going to look like from the AC200, see what kind of power is being drawn from it. Okay, so from what this is reading, it is saying that I'm at 84% now. So there's about 600 watts here. And this device, it's nice because it has an automatic temperature shut off. So you can turn it off and it looks like I dropped down 2% within a couple of minutes. So it is taking some energy to power on and stay on like this. Something like this ceramic heater is good because it's portable and you can set it up very fast and easily within your car. You could use it with like an inverter if it can handle up to 600 watts. But the thing about leaving your car running is that it's going to take a strain on your car battery. Plus, leaving the car running can put out carbon monoxide and fumes that you don't want to breathe in because of health reasons. There's other ways of staying warm too, like a 
little buddy system where you're connecting a heater up to a propane tank and then you can have it run in that way. But I think that this is more of a safer way, an electric kind of a heater so that you don't have any kind of risk of propane and kind of a carbon monoxide especially being emitted in a small space. You want to leave your windows open. And I heard that because of that kind of humidity, the condensation that's being put out, the windows and stuff will get bad in like the inner lining of the car vehicle, the carpeting and stuff in the inside of the interior. It'll get all moldy and stuff over the long term if you use like a propane kind of system. Something that you also want to look into while using a heater is if there's an automatic shutoff feature like this one does. If you turn it on and you leave it on for four hours, it'll automatically shut off. So that's good in case you fall asleep with the heater on and you don't want to just be wasting energy or in the worst case scenario setting things on fire because it knocked over on something and maybe heated it up. So how long could a thing like that last for? How long could you actually power it in an SUV and stay warm at night for? I did the calculations and it seems like it would be about three hours that you could run it continuously unless you had some kind of backup power connected to it. Like if it was connected to my cigarette lighter adapter or if it was connected via a solar power. Like if I had some panels set out during the daylight and it was charging that way simultaneously while I was using it. Now if I had up to six panels connected through my AC200, I would be able to run 700 watts of power to it. So that's a lot of power that's being able to be generated while running the AC200 simultaneously. So that's why I'm really looking forward to getting these extra panels in stock. Thank you for watching my real test with the AC200. Just showing you some practical uses if you're on the road doing some kind of camping or if you're doing some kind of traveling. Maybe you're living out of your vehicle and you want to just be able to power everyday household items and get a general idea of the practicalities of it. Raindrop, drop, 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 dr